Good morning, Hilljack Nation. It is Saturday, February 4th. I'm up here at the farm. Indiana's trapping season is over, except for coyotes and skunks. Uh, but, uh, you know what? I've had a pretty good, I still haven't caught a coyote, but caught some raccoons, caught some possums, caught a gray fox, caught a skunk. You know, got a few things that invade nests and that kind of stuff. So I'm feeling good about my season, but I decided, you know what? There's a whole bunch of challenges going on, whether it's a bait challenge, a hand challenge on your traps, uh, a set challenge, uh, people fishing with different lures challenge. And I decided why not just be silly and do a sardine challenge. That's right. So what I've got is 10 live traps. I'm gonna set in various spots on my 80 acres. Uh, and I'm going to put sardines in them. I do have some cat food I might add to it too. Uh, I think I've got one more trap than I have cans of sardines. I don't know, I might throw a little cheese on the ground outside of it or something too. I don't know. But sardine challenge. I'm going to pop them cans of sardines, stick one in each trap. And uh, like I said, I got this one can of cat food left over from the season i may throw a little bit of that in each one but i don't know but i decided you know what one day i got one day tomorrow i got to come back up here but i'm gonna do one challenge to see if i can catch anything uh with sardines in an overnight i've been getting steady pictures of foxes raccoons possums foxes coyotes coming around all our places so i'm going to set these traps up and uh show you kind of some of how i set them and then tomorrow i'll come check them y'all stay with me all right we're going to start with the smallest trap i have i don't know if anything will go in there maybe a cat maybe a small possum back here behind the barn y'all have seen me catch a couple possums back here if you've been with my channel Got a camera there that just takes pictures. Uh, this is the one I'm just putting cat food in because I only have nine cans of stuff and had 10 traps. So there we go, cat food in the little bitty trap. I let my dog have the rest of it since she come along. And uh, we'll see if this one catches anything. Uh, stay tuned, we'll see what else. All right, this spot here is right here at the driveway entrance. I've been seeing a red fox right here. Raccoons cut right in here. So we got a live trap and we got first can of sardines. So we'll see if I catch anything or if I don't. But there's set number two. All right, so traps three and four are going over here by my grandma's bird feeders. I uh, got the feeders here. I see raccoons, foxes, squirrels, everything here. So we've got and possums and cats. So I got one trap set there with a can of sardines in it. And then if Chelsea will stay out of it, I've got one smaller trap with sardines in it set over here. So hopefully we can entice something to come in there and uh in one of these two traps and hang out so all right we'll see on to the next there's the next trap trap number five going right here where i've got a cell camera behind grandma's old barn the old horse barn again coyotes foxes raccoons everything i see crossing here so we'll see if i can talk something into coming by here all right get out of there all right another live trap location down here by my feeder y'all seen it before during trapping season we catch raccoons here possums here that's about it uh, i have lately seen a red fox and a gray fox down here on camera so got a cell cam i saw a raccoon here last night so we're gonna go ahead and set this up and uh see if overnight we end up with anything well set number six so Y'all come with us. All right, as you can see, I got a video camera there and this is extremely close 
to where I caught the skunk. I think I caught it right over there. Uh, seen pictures of foxes and everything else here, videos, I mean. So I've got this one here. It's one of the smaller traps. Uh, don't know if anything will go in there, but uh, hopefully something does. And uh, that is trap number seven. So I have three traps left. All right. We're at camera, or not camera, trap location number eight. Right here where some trails come out. Uh, yeah, no camera here, but uh, not again, not far from where I caught the skunk. Uh, caught a raccoon down there a little farther. And I see coyotes, bobcats, foxes, everything walking this line. So throw a little sardines in there. One night challenge with the sardines and just see if I can catch something. All right, again, not sure if we'll catch anything, but this video camera right here had uh, several times my DP that was sitting here had cat food eaten by a gray fox and a red fox uh, and a raccoon and a possum without getting in the trap. So that kind of surprised me that all those things came by the DP and didn't get in the DP. So we got this live trap with some sardines, Louisiana hot sauce on them sardines. That is trap number nine. We're gonna set trap number 10 right up there on top of that little knob and that'll be it. All right, and there you have it, trap number 10. It is a little trap. Had to get the sardines off out from under the pan. Uh, right here, there's a little trail comes out there. Trails come out right there. There's a big four-wheeler trail there. Trails come out right by the camera. Again, everything under the sun I've seen here. So we're just going to see what we might catch or what we might not catch. But that's trap number 10. All right, folks, there you have it. The old sardine challenge. So we'll be up back here in the morning to check and see if I caught anything in any of the traps. Comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you think this went. If you have an idea which trap might catch, tell me which one. I said which number they were as I was going through. So anyway, until tomorrow, y'all get outside. Enjoy Mother Nature. Enjoy all the wonderful things God has created. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, God bless y'all.